Welcome back to Gotober 2023. <laughs> this is day two of Gotober, and in this case, I'm just gonna continue whatever I did on the last time, but instead of doing it in Anypoint Studio, I'm gonna do it in Anypoint Gold Builder. So if you have not been following um, these playlists or this series of videos, in the last video, I went ahead and showed you how to scaffold the mule flows from an API specification in Exchange and using Anypoint Studio to create the flows. Now this time I am gonna use Anypoint Code Builder for desktop because it's cool. So if you want to install Anypoint Code Builder in your desktop, this is a beta version by the way, um, just go to your extension thingy uh, search for any point extension pack and install the any point extension pack. Very important that you don't install each thing separately. Please install the whole pack. Once you have that, you are ready and you should be able to see this MuleSoft icon right here, which is any point code builder. And you will see basically this thing here. And same as the last video, I will be using the same API specification, which I already have in Design Center and in Exchange. So if I go to Exchange, this is called My To Do API. Here it is, just to, again, show it really quick. I have the slash to do's with get and post and the slash ID with get put and delete. So five methods in total, I should be able to have five different flows. So again, I have all this set up. Now let's go here and check out how to do it. Once you are here in the Anypoint Code Builder part, oops, you cannot see that very well. There. Once you are here in the Anypoint Code Builder thingy, um, just select here, implement an API, and this will open a new menu or window. And this will ask you to sign in using any point platform. So let's click allow. And yeah, I do want to open it. Why not open? So this opened a new browser window. I'm just going to sign in and click on open Visual Studio Code app. Cool. This will take me back. Yes, allow this extension. Perfect. Looks like that's it. So, okay. Project location, yeah, project name. And uh, last time we did to do app, so let's just do the same. And search an API specification from Exchange. It was to do uh, search. I had to uh, press on enter for it to search. But I don't see mine. Let's see, show filters my organization and there we go my to do api once i did the filter thing so now let's select here oops you cannot see that hold on let me make this smaller okay so here just select on add asset and here we have this is my to do api version 100 and click on create project it may take a while, just make sure you check out the uh, right bottom part of the thing so you can see the progress. It will tell you that it's scaffolding the app. And once it's done, you will be able to have this application just as we did in the previous video using Anypoint Studio. Now, if we click here on the to do app.xml, this will basically open the XML view of the flow and in the middle it will open the canvas or what we usually see from studio i'm gonna click here to make this window smaller so i have more view over here and let's just wait a little bit remember that this is on a beta version so maybe if you see this in the future cool maybe this is no longer a beta version which is cool and you will be able to use this in production and whatnot but for now, 
they are telling you to not use this any point code builder for production environments because it's in a beta version people so it is not ready for you to just go ahead and trust it blindly because we're just getting started like it's gonna be cool it's just not there yet but still cool so anyway we have been able to scaffold now we have here our list of flows. Remember, we had five different methods, so we should have five different flows. And here, if we click on the flow list, let me see if I can make this bigger. Yeah. So in the flow list right here, we have these different flows. We have the delete to do's IDs, ID, the get to do's, get to do's ID, um, post to do's, and put to do's ID. So we have the five different methods. And the other two flows are my to do API main and my to do API console, which are exactly the same flows that we had from Studio. So, yay, this worked perfectly. And here we have again the listener, the router. Um, here's just one flow. So, if we click here on this flow, oh, it's just to minimize it. <laughs> okay, so here we have also the error handlers. Um, we have different things depending on what happens it will be able to input or output a different error code and if we check out for example get to do's id we will be able to see that it has the two transform message that we also saw from the last video in the first transform message we will be able to get the variable name id with the attributes URI params dot ID. So we already have this code, we don't have to do it ourselves. If we click on the second one, we will be able to see that this example JSON is already being outputted for you. So if you would run this application as is, it would give you this example back, even though it's not actually connecting to any database or any system for it. Pretty cool. We were able to do the same thing that we did in Studio in the last video, now in Anypoint Code Builder in this video. Also, look at this sick theme. I love it. It's kind of like Halloween vibes, because we are doing codes over. So we have the purple, we have the orange, we have the green, and so on. All right, I hope you liked this video. I hope you keep posted with me to continue checking out more codes over stuff. And I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.